Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make a digital negative and a cyanotype and then tone that cyanotype with tea to create a black and white image. So let's get started. So here on the computer we've got an image of uh, the boat sheds at Holy Island. It's a nice black and white image with plenty of contrast in it which will give you a successful black and white image. Now the first thing that we're going to do is duplicate this image and then we are going to go back to adjustments, invert and turn the image into a negative. As you can see you've now got a negative on the screen and what we're going to do then we're going to adjust that and make it more contrasty. So we're going to now do a curves adjustment and adjust the curves in the image to just give us a little bit more contrast. So as you can see we just do the curves now, open the curves box and we will adjust the curves. Go down to the bottom left hand corner and pull that curve line down to the middle of the box. As you can see the, the picture has gone darker at the top we are altering the contrast. Just move slight adjustments on the curves to alter the picture, alter the negative. As you can see, we're altering that negative. Once, once you've done that and you're happy with your negative, click and save it, come out of it. What we're going to do now, we're going to create a orange filter to go over the top of the negative. So we're going to do a contrast change to the negative. We're going to, going to put a, a filter on it which will help you give you a better, better negative. So go down and turn to the colour palette and get a nice orange tone for you to go on to your negative. Click on the palette box again to do the bottom to the bottom bit and now go to the gradient tool, click the gradient tool and pull that straight through the image and you should get an orange layer right on top. Now go to your opacity box at the side and reduce the opacity. So take the opacity down so you can see the image come through underneath. As you can see you've now got a nice contrast in image again and negative. So you've completed your negative now so flatten the negative off and before you save it what you're going to do now you're going to rotate it so as it's the wrong way round for when you put it on the print it will print out the right way. So now save that negative and you've got your digital neg ready for printing. So here is my digital negative which I have printed off ready for 
using the cyanotype. The paper I use to print my cyanotype on today is Canison paper and the digital negative was printed on that uh, overhead uh, pho photographic uh, file for overhead projectors. You can get, I got all that off a site on the internet which is named after a famous river. So here is what my negative produced in cyanotype and later on I did a couple of prints and here is how I toned it in tea. So I will now go on in the video and show you how I achieved these results. So keep watching and I'll show you how to do it. So put your paper down, let it pre-coated and let dry so it's hardened off and put your negative over the top lining it up so it's nice and straight and neat and get your piece of glass put that flat so and it's quite tight and quite compact so we're going to get a good print on the negative clamp down the glass So they get a good contact with the negative. And there you have your negative clamped. Here is my UV light. It's a 30 watt light which I got off the famous South American River site and it works perfectly well. I placed this about 8 inches away from my picture. I'll show you how I do it now. So the UV light is placed about 8 inches away from my image and this will take about 9 minutes to expose. So we'll just leave that for 9 minutes now and come back when it's ready. So. We've got a cyanotype. Here's the print now before it's rinsed. So I'll now go and check it to be, rinse it, rinse it off and see it develop. So the print's been rinsed off now. As you can see, we've got a nice cyanotype picture. Really, for a really good contrasting negative. So here is my toner, which is just Common Garden normal tea, made with just a couple of tea bags. In fact, it's out for sort of an old tea, out of the teapot, and it's been let go cold. So I'll leave your print turned upside down in the tea, and just give it a come back in about half an hour. Keep watching it every ten minutes to see what you've got. And then hopefully we've got a nice bottom. So the print's been rinsed now and it looks quite good. It's quite nice. 